Okay, in spite of a bit of a rough morning yesterday, uh, yesterday was pretty solid. It was. Uh, let's see. Um, I mean, yeah, my low is the fact that I had to start my video over again. And I was legitimately worried I wasn't going to be able to get stuff done. But on the positive side, again, you know, my high was, um, I was able to reveal to everybody that, uh, I actually made pickles already. Although, um, someone commented how clever I was in building up to, uh, in, uh, revealing what it is that I did. And, you know, it was nice. I mean, I'm glad someone, that someone, uh, you know, recognized that. That's really good. Um, my eye is the fact that, uh, also, the Mass Singer was on last night. And, you know, the Mass Singer was awesome. Love the Mass Singer. A great, great episode. And my act of kindness was, I, uh, ran a few errands for my grandmother, as well as, um, uh, did some stuff around the house for, uh, my mom and dad. So, yeah, it was a Saturday overhaul. Um, so, I can't believe we're already in week six of the NFL. We're in the number six right now. Uh, but yeah, it's week six of the NFL, and, you know, I was just talking to someone who just mentioned that, you know, quarter of the season's already over. More than a quarter of the season's over. In fact, we're rapidly close to getting to finishing up about a third of it. And you know, I think I kind of noticed something over the years. I noticed like, I noticed this last year too, but it really does seem like the month of September really does seem to fly by fast. And I get why. Because a lot of stuff happens. Again, football starts kicking off in a full swing for a lot of people. School starts or, I mean, some places school clearly already started in like August, but here in upstate New York, we start school in September. So just the, the hustle and bustle that is, you know, going to school, that definitely, uh, that definitely helps. It helps go by fast, I mean. Um, but I guess for me, you know, it's been a solid, again, a really great two months. And October is looking like it's going to follow suit. I mean, yeah, we just had Mean Girls Day. And I wouldn't necessarily say that this past weekend was that eventful. But truth be told, I have something going on pretty much every so at least one thing going on every weekend between tomorrow and the end of the month. So if nothing else, I have plenty of stuff to look forward to. But I'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, let's see. I have an NFL pick to make, don't I? That's why I'm wearing the jersey. Okay, uh... Oh. Let me get to where uh, the NFL schedule is real fast. I can... Get to it. Here it is. All right. Really? That's Thursday night football. That's our game for tonight. The Broncos and the Chiefs. <laughs> Please, that's an easy one. I'm thinking the Chiefs. It's not even. Really? That like that's tonight's game. I mean. I'm sure a bunch of people are making bets as to how to maybe the Broncos can beat the spread, I guess. I mean, then again, the Broncos, I mean, division rivals always play each other tough. It shouldn't really count out the Broncos. But come on, man. It's the Chiefs. How do you think this is going to go down? Um... Ooh, that actually reminds me. A friend of mine mentioned that, uh, because I like watching some UFC. I like watching some UFC. And, uh, had you seen the scorecard for UFC 294? Or the, 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 this, is the scorecard on? 
Yeah, it's, it's just a, just a card. Like, dude, it's insane. Like, I just, I just put it up right now. It mean, the turn of Usman, man. Kamara Usman versus, uh, uh, Shemaev. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but I'm excited. I can't wait for the fight, and sadly it will be uh, uh, I believe it's next. Uh, it's next Saturday, isn't it? UFC 294 is next Saturday? Yeah, it is. Saturday, October 21st. Okay. So, uh... Got the... Got some time. But I'm really excited. Seriously. Like, if you're a fan of the UFC, Christmas is going to be coming early for you. Um... Ah, yes, we have, um, right, uh, we have the mass singer to talk about. So, um, it would seem that they're doing three groups again, which is good, you know. I think they're going back to what they did a few, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mentioned this before. The season where they, where like, only one person goes out en masse and they have to fight their way to the top. I like that way. But, honestly, I think for season 10, they want to go back to being old school. Like, have one person go out every week. Until you narrow it down to... What's essentially the final three? Because the Group A final is next week, which is really exciting. Speaking of the Group A final, we have to get to uh, the people who was in what essentially the semifinal. But before I get into that, like I love, like, I should probably explain this. Yes, it was two thousands night. Like this. This is, like, the music that I grew up in. This is, like, my angsty teenage years. I can't tell you how often I would just be passing by hearing something on the radio. And every and at least one of these songs I heard last night, I would hear. I'm not kidding. Like, this was, a, like, last night was a solid representation of what the 2000s were in general. At least for me. And to have it begin with the season six winner herself, Jewel, the queen of hearts, performing her standing still, oh, um, like, that was a real treat. I mean, it's Jewel, man. She won season six. She was the queen of hearts. And yeah, it was awesome. But we gotta get to uh, the uh, other contestants. First of all, The Pickle. Immediately a fan favorite. Easily Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg's uh, favorite costume of the year. And the Pickle did Beverly Hills by Weezer. A song I heard quite a lot when I was in the 2000s. Uh, Gazelle did Lucky by Britney Spears. Heard that a lot too. S'more, Hey There Delilah by The Plain White Tees. I mean, dude. Seriously, if I had any charisma at all, the say, Hey There Delilah would be a song I would serenade to a beautiful woman. You know what I mean? The Cow Did Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake. Very excellent. They're all excellent performances. Here's what was so interesting. I was watching the show with my mom last night. And what they're doing now is 
since it's a final four, two people have to go, essentially go for a SmackDown. A battle, just like the Battle Royale back in seasons eight and nine. And they both sing the same song. And whoever does it better, obviously gets to move on. And the loser gets unmasked. And of the many songs I know for a fact I heard growing up in the 2000s, Sugar We're Going Down by Fall Out Boy. Like, dude. What, what more could you ask for? Although, it was very clear that the Pickle did not win. Like, I knew the Pickle. Like, here's the thing. Before we get into the SmackDown, I gotta say. I mean, I'm just saying, just give away the Pickle. We got to, got, had to go with the SmackDown and lost. But here's the thing. My mom and I are watching this, right? And we're like, okay. Because the s'mores, hey there, Delilah, kill. And the cow, yeah, the cow was okay, but I thought the s'more was better. The s'more had to go to the SmackDown. Can you believe that? Um, so obviously the s'more was gonna win. And the s'more, the, the s'more did win and the pickle lost. Here's where it gets awesome for me. Folks, there are a few celebrities that I would ever truly defy as like a treasure, per se. And it wasn't just anyone under the mask. Oh no. It was the man himself, Michael Rappaport. Now, for those of you who don't know who Michael Rappaport is, he is a very funny comedian. And he's the kind of comedian who's kind of crass. He made that very abundantly clear after he got a mask last night. But it's a sort of crass where there is an inherent endearing charm to it. And Michael Rappaport's timing and delivery is just perfect. That man is a treasure. That man is a treasure. He is a treasure. He must be protected at all costs. He's Michael Rappaport. Like, here's the thing. I love Michael Rappaport so much. Like, I don't care that he makes fun of my Cowboys. He's a Giants fan. Like, I don't care he makes fun of my Cowboys. He's awesome. Love Michael Rappaport. I'm so happy. Oh, like, I saw Michael Rappaport. I'm like, ah! I'm so happy. I love Michael Rappaport. Oh, Michael Rappaport. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think over, like, what things might have any of you seen of it. Uh, he played Melissa McCarthy's brother in The Heat. He was in that movie. Uh, he was the dad in the show The War at Home. Uh, he's had a few cameos in other shows, too. He played some kind of, uh... I forget what kind of dealer he was in the Big Bang Theory. It wasn't a drug dealer anyway. Um, what else did he do? Uh, well, he was like, he was like, my rapport has been around for like some of the greatest moments in pop culture history. Oh yes, he was. I mean, just watch his episode of Hot Ones. Like, yes, Michael Rappaport was on that one. And it was awesome. Man, that's an episode I gotta talk about. If I ever talked about Hot Ones episodes past, I definitely gotta talk about his. That'd be cool. But. Yeah. And. Even before Michael Rappaport got unmasked. He was owning the fact he was the pickle. He's like, Beverly Hills, that's where I want to be. Pickle, 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 living in Beverly Hills. Like, people were cheering, pickle, 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 pickle. 
And he brought, you know what, Mike Rapport? I want to say one thing. You did, in fact, bring that BPE, that big pickle energy. We need that big pickle energy. We do. We just do. So I had a blast watching last night's episode. And... Oh my god. No way. Okay, so... I just looked up what the next two episodes are for The Masked Singer. And the first one is a celebration of Elton John. That's ins like, man, Elton John has a treasure trove of great songs he could sing to. Fun fact, the first time I ever performed in front of a live crowd was uh, at Twin Tears Idol. Crack Without a Rock by Elton John was the song I did for Twin Tears Idol. So, I could see someone doing that song. I could see somebody doing... Um, you know, Saturday Night's Alright, Tiny Dancer, like, seriously, if you're an Elton John fan, next week is going to be, like, a national holiday for you. And then a week later, it's going to be Harry Potter night. Don't really know what songs you could do for Harry Potter, but, you know, I think it's because for Halloween. Yeah, October 25th, yeah, it's going to be close to Halloween, that's why they're doing it. Okay, but yeah, 2000s night, rockin' success. I'm picking the Chiefs tonight for the game. Can't wait for the next two weeks of the Mass Singer. Something big's going on this weekend for my family and I. And it was at last minute too, but it's a good kind of last minute because it's something I like. I'll tell you, about, I don't know, you'll be sure to hear about it later. I hope you all like this video. If you like this video, you can I want you to meet. He's always under home of this video. Probably you guys watching your video. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thursday. I forgot to do happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, everyone. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to him, we're here to lend this door back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.